Okay class, good afternoon. So this is another topic in power plant engineering. So this is the first uh, part of the topic. So the topic is now boiler. Okay. So let us first define what is meant by a boiler. So a boiler or steam generator is a device used to create steam by applying heat energy to the water. Okay. So course boiler is a steam generator okay so boilers we have here the four classical or the classic types of the boiler so one of course is the residential boilers uh, produce low pressure steam or hot water primarily for heating application another we have the so-called commercial boilers so these boilers produce steam or hot water Primarily, uh, primarily for heating application and commercial use. So the third one is the industrial boilers. Uh, steam or hot water primarily pr uh, for process application with secondary use as heating. Okay. So another is the utility boilers. So utility boilers produce steam primarily for the production of electricity so maybe we are going to concentrate more on this port part of our the classic uh, types of the boiler so we will concentrate more on these types of boiler so we have here the major components of the industrial or utility boilers of course so we have here the furnace of course, the furnace, of course, where the uh, fuel is burned. And the boiler section. And then superheater. The another is the air preheater and the economizer. So these are the uh, basic parts of or the major components of the in utility or industrial boilers. Okay. So we have two uh, classification. So the first is, of course, the fire tube boilers. So fire tube boilers have almost become extinct. So however, this can be classified as, okay, locomotive boilers with rolled rail transportation before diesel and electric engine came. Okay, Industrial boilers mainly used for green projects where initial steam is required. And another, we have domestic used or use boilers okay so that is for fire tube boilers so another is the water tube boilers okay so water tube boilers stock over when size and capacity increased okay so i think it is clear so this can be classified depending on type of circulation used to generate steam okay so we have also the natural circulation boiler, forced circulation boiler, supercritical pressure boilers, or zero circulation boilers. Okay. Okay. So let us now go to the concepts of boiler. Okay. So the concept of the developed boiler horsepower is that, or the dBHP. So one dBHP is the evaporation of 34.5 pounds of water, or that is equivalent to 15.646 kilogram of water per hour from a temperature of 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius into dry saturated steam at the same temperature. So one developed boiler horsepower is equivalent to 35,291 kilojoules per hour. So this is the same as, so for example, we have a large uh, open boilers maybe, or a drum, which is filled with water and then applying heat, of course, to the bottom of the drum. And then, at the end of one hour, the amount of water evaporated is equivalent to 
5. Okay? So, take note that, of course, the temperature of the drum uh, or the boiling drum is open. Of course, that is at 212 or 100 degrees Celsius. And, of course, the pressure is atmospheric pressure. So, that is equivalent to 1 developed boiler horsepower. Okay. So, let us now consider the developed boiler horsepower of a certain boiler. So, that is equivalent to the mass of steam generated by the boiler multiplied by the enthalpy of the steam produced of by the boiler and, of course, the enthalpy of the liquid of the liquid rather, of course. At, of course, boiler pressure. Divided by the developed boiler horsepower, which is equivalent to 2257, which is equivalent to HFG of water at 100 degrees Celsius. And the amount of the water evaporated is 15.648, which is now equivalent to 35 to 91. Or maybe in English system, we have the mass of steam. Of course, this is in... Uh, pound per hour, heads of S, so this is in kilojoules per kilogram, enthalpy of steam and enthalpy of water divided by 970.3, which is equals to enthalpy of water or the mixture at 970 or at 100 or 212 degree Fahrenheit. Okay? And the amount of uh, water evaporated is of course 34.5 so you can easily use the SI and the English units so in determining the boiler horsepower so you know class this uh, developed boiler horsepower is quite uh, an obsolete term now okay so but in order for you to familiarize or to Yes, to be familiar with the concept of the boiler. So, of course, we need to uh, know what are those things which is important in the discussion of the boilers. Okay? So, another, we have the equivalent evaporation. So, the equivalent evaporation, this is, Temperature of feed water at 100 degrees Celsius converted to dry saturated steam at 100 degrees Celsius. Okay? So, take note. Feed water at 100 to saturated steam at 100. So, accordingly, so 1 kilogram of water, so at 100, so necessitates 2257, which is also equivalent to 970.3. So, to be to the dry saturated steam at 100 okay so equivalent evaporation is defined as the amount of water evaporated from water at 100 degrees celsius to dry saturated steam at 100 degrees celsius okay so another we have the so-called equivalent evaporation or ee okay so the heat gain by the steam from the boiler so, per unit time is, okay. So, Q. So, of course, this is the heat uh, supplied. Q is the heat supplied, of course, to the boiler. Okay? So, that is equals to mass of steam generated multiplied by S of H of S or the enthalpy of steam or saturated steam, rather, minus the enthalpy of water. Or the equivalent evaporation now is equals to mass of steam Multiplied by the change in enthalpy divided by the HFG, okay? Or simply, M is equals to HS minus HF over 2257. Or simply, that is also equals to MS multiplied by the change in enthalpy over 970.3. Or since H of S over H of F over 2257 is equals to factor of evaporation, we now say the equivalent evaporation is equals to mass of steam multiplied by the pact 
vector of evaporation. Okay, so take note, class. So there are several terms require ah uh, needs for you to familiarize. Okay, so in order to master calculation in boilers. Okay. Another is the so-called factor of evaporation, as what I have said while ago. So, factor of evaporation is defined as the ratio of the heat received by 1 kilogram of water under working conditions to that received by 1 kilogram of water evaporated from and at 100 degrees Celsius. So, that is equivalent to the change in enthalpy, of course, or the enthalpy of the saturated steam minus the enthalpy of liquid over the the enthalpy hfg or 2257 so that is equals to fe or factor of evaporation okay another is the boiler efficiency so boiler efficiency is the ratio of course of the heat actually utilized in generation of steam to the heat supplied by the fuel in the same period okay so or envy so that is the mass of steam multiplied by the change in enthalpy, of course, at the boiler side, divided by the mass of the fuel supplied to the furnace multiplied by its heating value. Okay? So take note, heating value. So uh, in boilers, we are using sometimes coal coal fired or sometimes uh, diesel fired okay so the heat supplied now or determining the heat supplied to the boiler is equals to mf times hb so we are now going to use the dolong's formula here okay so the heating value now equals to 33820 Multiplied by the carbon content of the uh, coal plus 144,212 multiplied by the hydrogen content of the coal minus the oxygen over 8 plus 9,304 multiplied by the sulfur content of the coal. Okay, so that is for heating value. So the rated boiler horsepower now is equals to for water tube boiler, so rated boiler horsepower is equals to the heating surface divided by 10 square feet. Okay? So, in order to obtain one rated boiler horsepower, it requires a heating surface of 10 square feet. Okay? So, for the total now, for the rated boiler horsepower, that is uh, area in square feet divided by 10. Okay? So, take note. 10 square feet is equivalent to 0 0.9295 square meter. Okay? So, that is why in square meter, to be exact, so, the rated boiler horsepower is equals to heating surface area in square meter divided by 0 0.9295. 9295 or simply uh, in order for you not to be uh, to be uh, exact with the answer maybe if you are taking the board examination so reviewers used point 91 square meter only okay so that is why for for your board examination, use the area in square meter divided by 0 0.091. Okay? But actually, that is 0 0.9295. Okay? So, for part tube boilers, that is sitting surface area divided by 12. So, that is sitting surface area in square feet divided by 12 square feet. Okay? So, or simply in square meter, that is... Uh, area in square meter divided by 1.1 1. 1. okay 
So another is percent rating. Okay, so percent rating is the ratio, of course, of the developed boiler horsepower divided by by ah divided by the rated boiler horsepower. Okay, and for ASME evaporation units, so that is equal to the mass of steam multiplied by the change in enthalpy of the saturated steam and the saturated liquid. And another actual specific evaporation of the boil or boiler economy rather is equals to mass of steam divided by the mass of fuel. Okay? So the equivalent of a specific evaporation now so that is equals to the mass of steam over mass of fuel multiplied by the factor of evaporation. And for the net boiler efficiency, that is equals to mass of steam minus the change in enthalpy minus the energy consumed by the accessories of the plant divided by the mass of fuel divided by H sub B or HB or the heating value of the fuel. Okay, so thank you very much, class. That's all about my presentation or the first part of the presentation for boilers. Thank you very much, class.